why do Caribbean or West Indies cricket players or people in general have Indian names? Is this an inclination of people residing in these lands for centuries? The people in the Caribbean who have Indian names are of Indian origin. So what happened was that a century or more ago, the British forcibly took people from India, uh, mostly from uh, northern India, from Bihar, from Uttar Pradesh, and some other places in India as well, maybe some some from Tamil Nadu also. They were taken as indentured laborers, which is another word for slaves. Okay, so the British practiced slavery in various forms. They gave it different various names to say to claim that to be able to claim that it is not slavery. They called it indentured servitude or indentured laborers or whatever. These were slaves. These people were taken, hundreds of thousands, even millions of them were taken to various places. The Caribbean region, the, um, uh, Guyana, the West Indies region, the Caribbean region, South Africa, Mauritius, etc. These people were settled there, made to work as slaves, and their descendants still live there today. And they try to preserve their culture in some way or the other. And that is why they have Indian names. And you have so many examples of these from the West Indies cricket team. Shiv Narayan Chandrapal, Ram Naresh Sarwan, uh, Alvin Kalicharan, and, and so many more, right? Dinesh Ramdin, uh, Sunny Ramdin, many, many more. I don't remember them all. So you have all these people in the Caribbean region, including Guyana. Uh, British Guyana, even French Guyana, I'm sure, and various other islands in this archipelago who are of Indian origin. So they have been living there for over a century, maybe a couple of centuries. I don't remember the exact time. It was most likely sometime in the 19th century that these people were forcibly taken there to work as slaves. And they underwent great, uh, great sufferings. It was a terrible, terrible life for them. But today, their descendants are reasonably are doing reasonably better today. Uh, many, many luminaries have emerged from this. For example, the great writer V.S. Naipaul, Nobel Prize winner, he tried to reconnect with India and the India he saw disgusted him because it was it was such an impoverished country in such a pitiable state. So it repulsed him and he, he wrote a great, great deal about India, how India has been destroyed by the British. So that's one example. There are many others. So, so it is all a consequence of, of British colonialism. They forcibly uh, transplanted people to various parts of the world to work as slaves. So that is the legacy of the evil British Empire.